So what I have here is a capacitor. It's um, actually a super capacitor. And this is what it looks like right here. It's 10 farad, 2.3 volts. And um, I found something very interesting about it. It's a, uh, I don't know, I guess you can say it kind of acts like an electrode. But what I do is um, I want to show you uh, these two terminals right here, negative and positive. I'm going to show you the voltage that's inside the capacitor itself. And I'm going to show you something weird by me connecting the top part right here, which is actually a metal, I don't know what it is. I'm going to connect that to the positive of the capacitor too, and you can show you that there's a voltage in this too. So right now I'm going to show you the what's inside the capacitor right now. I'm just connecting the positive and negative of the capacitor to the meter. I'm going to show you. All right. You see 0 0.920 volts inside the capacitor. Now I'm going to connect the positive and the negative to the meter. One right here and one to the positive. I'll show you. It's the white one connected to the wire. It's taped together. I'll show you what's inside of it. As you see, there's a potential inside of it. Now we'll connect opposite way. Let's connect the negative now. I will have my negative uh, connector on, uh, connector on my. Uh, meter connect to the top part of the diode, or not the diode, the capacitor at 0 0.70. So there's much higher potential than that. So that's, that's pretty uh, interesting right there. Connecting the top, which is the white, it's connected to the top of the capacitor. Connected it to the top, 0.768. And give it a little time to rest. All I'm doing is just tapping it. And 0 0.763, 0 0.760. So you see there's potential there. We'll connect it back up across the positive and negative terminal of the capacitor. And it's still at 920. And just like a regular capacitor, it's going to drop. But what's funny is that the potential that was in to, uh, against the top of the capacitor and the positive and or negative of the capacitor did not affect the standing voltage of the capacitor itself. So I'm getting a uh, potential between this top part and one of these leads. And it's not affecting the storage of the capacitor itself. That's um, pretty interesting. We'll do it again. Disconnect that. Try to get this one shot. So there's potential there. And it kind of bounces back up. And we'll connect it back up. And point nine twenty, and didn't affect it with me tapping it multiple times and did not change the standing voltage inside the capacitor so there's something to this uh, I'm getting power from this top of the capacitor I'm getting potential difference between the top and one of these leads without affecting the storage capacity that's inside the capacitor itself so that just shows you that you can get more energy out of a capacitor than you thought you could okay we got the capacitor again with a uh, connection to the top of the capacitor and the lead, I'm going to connect a 1k ohm resistor to it to show you or demonstrate a load on it. So the white wire is connected to the top of the capacitor and I'll be connecting the negative of the meter to uh, the resistor. So I'm going to show you how it holds a load. So watch and uh, check it out. So there we go. 
So it's it's holding the load. And of course, like a load, it's draining the capacitor. But what's interesting is that if I remove this, remove it, and I hook up the, show you the voltage that's in the meter. I have to change it to the bigger scale. 2.23, and I hook it back up to the load, and it's loading it down. It's dropping, it's dropping, it's dropping. Then when I go back over here, I'll remove this and show you the voltage in the capacitor. I switch it over. 2.23. It has not affected the power that's inside the capacitor. That is amazing. Put a load back on it. It's loading. It's loading. It's loading. And it's not affecting what's inside that capacitor. The voltage inside the capacitor does not change. 